Yo YouTube, what is good? Scott Adamson here, and it's been a while. Sorry about that. Remember when I said I was gonna have this van done in 180 days? So I'm gonna guess that this build's going to take me, I'm gonna give myself six months. All right, so Alex. Well, that's not gonna happen, but I'm actually starting to make some real progress on it now. And it's been an amazing summer here and I've just been doing my best to enjoy summer. So I can't even remember what the last thing you guys saw in the van build was because it's been so long and sorry about that. But the problem with filming this series is the first few videos were really easy because that's all the stuff on the van that was pretty much the exact same as my last van. Nothing really changed. So those videos, you know, I ordered the stuff. I knew what to do. It got done. It was easy to film. I knew what I needed to film to kind of teach you guys what was going on. But once we started to get into the new stuff, that's when things started to slow down extremely. Researching, planning, ciphering, and honestly, there was a whole bunch of time just kind of staring at the van, not knowing what my next step was gonna be. I start the day with something in mind and probably 20 minutes into the day, things don't go as planned and I'm just kind of sitting there scratching my head, my day falls apart, the video falls apart, and I lose a bit of motivation to make these videos because I'm just busy trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. So I think that's probably what you guys actually wanna see though is all the frustrations and the things that I'm struggling with on this van build, not everything going perfect. So I'm gonna do my best, my best to film more of these, but. So I got these wires on the top of the roof finished. It actually went really well, which is surprising because pretty much everything takes three times as long as I think it's going to, and that pretty much went perfect. And I was worried I was gonna have to remove the ceiling to fish some of the wires. And I didn't even have to do that. So you can see the wires are run there. Um, now I just gotta fish them in the walls, which should be pretty simple. So I'm gonna do that now. And my dad's working on getting some of the L-Track up. It is really hard when I'm struggling to just figure out all the new materials I'm using, the order I should do it in, how it all goes together, and film it in a way that's beneficial for you guys at all. On this build, I've learned so much already. I've learned how to use rev nuts, which I didn't use on my last build. I've learned all about bolt sizing and metrics, so I'll be dealing with M4s, M5s, M6s, 8s, and 10s. Where to use them, when I should use which ones, the strength of each of them, which I'm gonna share with you guys in the future. I've had to do a ton of templating and scribing, which I know nothing square in these vans, but somehow I got away with more of it on the last build and didn't have to deal with it. I feel like I could teach a course on 80-20. That stuff, I mean, I'm getting really familiar with it, really comfortable with it now, and what sizes to use, what profiles, and just what's available and what's out there to make the job and the whole build a lot easier. Did my first ever upholstering work. You know, we upholstered the headliner shelf, the area around the uh, driver's side crew window we put in, and the foam blocks. Uh, what else? We upholstered the marine vinyl ceiling. So. We've done a whole lot of upholstering, which is something I'd never done before, and it turned out amazing. I've actually got a full video on upholstering that I'll link, link up here, I think it's up here. And now that the cabinets are getting built, we are doing cabinet facing. On my last build, everything was painted, and if you talk to anyone that's built a van, it's one thing if you skimp, you're gonna regret, but so you gotta do it right, so it's paint, sand, paint, sand, paint, sand. And on this van, I'm actually going a little bit custom. I'm doing high pressure laminate and that's something we've never done before, but I've done the first few pieces and they look amazing. I'm so excited with how they're turning out. I can't wait to show you guys that. 
And I've also just found a whole ton of new materials that I'm using on this build that kind of aren't the conventional Home Depot, you know, renovation store materials that I'm gonna share with you as I kind of get further along in the process. Now that I've actually used them, I'm getting more familiar with them. I can actually teach you the pros and cons of them. But up until this point, it was a whole lot of me just kind of fumbling my way through it. And but yeah, I'm super excited with how everything's coming together. Crooked. Drawers is something I always struggle with getting them right, and these ones went pretty much perfect. So I guess I'm getting better at it. The easy way out for this build would have been to just basically build the exact same van that I built in my first van. But what's the fun in that? Kind of the whole goal of this van is to, you know, make some changes to the van with all the things that I learned and to challenge myself with new things. So yeah, this van is actually a lot harder to build than the last one. During this build, it's felt like a whole lot of one step forward, 10 steps back. My dad's kind of referred to it as square dancing once in a while because it just feels like we're going in circles with nothing really getting done. I might not have shown you this, but I basically, we have the upper cabinet above the bed pretty much done but we took it all apart because I was getting the 8020 powder coated and I'm waiting for the uh, HPL, which is the high pressure laminate, which I'm gonna be facing the cabinets with to come in. So the powder coating is back. I haven't checked it out. I just looked at one piece, it looks amazing. So let's unpack the powder coated pieces and we're gonna get that put up this week as well. So let's check those out. Because there's been a lot of things where we put it in the van, test fit it, then it's got to come out and go back in, come out and go back in. But we're finally reached that phase where stuff goes in the van and stays in the van, which is very rewarding. All of the wiring's roughed in, which if you've ever done a van build is probably one of the toughest things to wrap your head around because you kind of have to plan everything out ahead of time where you want switches for your water pump or where you want 12 volt outlets or just all of those things you've got to plan ahead of time because it's really hard to run the wires after you've already done it. So for me, that was a big mental hurdle is just planning that all out. So all my wiring's all roughed in, so that's massive. In a future video, I'm gonna go over kind of all of the wires I had to run, all the different wire sizes I used and why I used them and where I did because I've got a combination of 16, 18, 14 and 12 gauge wire just for the 12 volt wiring in the van. Like I said, now I've got a really good handle on the 8020. We've got the upper cabinet built. That's ready to go back in after powder coating. Got the galley basically framed in, the start of the beds getting framed in, and the organizer on the far side. So really everything's starting to come together. And yesterday we actually started facing some of the cabinets with the high pressure laminate, which is going really well. And I'm super happy with the sort of the finish, the quality of finish. It just has that really, you know, professional upfitter feel to it that I'm going for in this build. And I've also finally selected the colors for this build. That's one of the things that I sort of stress over the most is actually just selecting the colors for the van because that's one of the things you can kind of screw up. If you don't pick the right colors, it just doesn't look good. And I'm not a designer, so got the colors picked. And yeah, if you made it this far in the video, you kind of know the drill. It'd be awesome if you click that subscribe button. And I'm gonna do my best to just make more videos showing the whole process. So let me know in the comments if there's anything specific that you'd like me to show more of because I don't know what you guys like to see and what you need more information on. I'm kind of learning as I go, but the van is now starting to come together. So that's it, and we'll see you in the next one.